I need special instructions for tower ladder 160 and ladder 142. Are they reporting into the scene or the staging? 142. Is that ladder 160 and ladder 142? Report to Roosevelt and Main Street Edge. That's 414. Queens and Tower Ladder 160. 160, Rosie and Main Street. 10 4. 10 4, Queens Ladder 142. 142, 10 4. Says there, fourth alarm. We're going to need two additional tower ladders. Transmitted for box 4465 to the address 40 10 Main Street. He rolls up the Avenue and 4 Road. Fires in a one story commercial. Fourth along transmitted Queens box 4465 to the address 40 10 Main Street. He rolls up the Avenue and 4 Road. Fires in a one story commercial. Please division one four. Division one four. Division one four, I have your fourth alarm assignment if you're ready to write. Division one four, you could go with the fourth alarm assignment, okay? Right, division one four, engine three two six, engine three one nine. Engine 312. Engine 325. Tower ladder 162. Tower ladder 164. Battalion 37. Fourth alarm chief. Division 14, any instructions for the two tower ladders? Are they going to staging? Are they coming into the scene? Four for the Queens. Have all fourth alarm units report to Roosevelt and Main Street K, including the two tower ladders. I said 414. Fourth alarm is responding to Roosevelt and Maine. It's a 1474. All units responding on the fourth alarm for box 4465 are reporting to Roosevelt Avenue at Main Street. I call unit call in Queens, John Readable. Call four to Queens. Call four, sir. Call four responding. I said four, call four. Two two boys, Queens. One two two boys. Two two boys, ten eighty four to fourth alarm. I said four, Queens Division one four. Still calm, two uh, Queens. Still calm. We need the divi division. Oh, the division. Uh, still calm. We uh, need the division to activate his bars repeater. Okay. All right, guys, this is a major fourth alarm fire in a row of taxpayers. They are removing the members apparently so they can start using tower ladders. Engine 295 is hitting the uh, roof of the fire building from exposure 4, okay? All right, step four, uh, going <laughs> Looks like the fire is on the other side, but I'm going to poke around. That five, that must Going to exposure floor on the second floor, correct? Third floor, please. It looks like a restaurant. 
Alright? <laughs> They're hitting it with the tower ladder already. I don't want to step a bucket. Okay, we can sit down to the side of the right? So it's five on the side of the right? Okay, 10 five. We're going to put another tower ladder in operation. Five, four, five, four, five, four. Let me see if there's anything visible on the other side. If not, I gotta find uh, uh find the roof. Engine two nine five has now full backup and control. Okay. Engine four. Engine four nine engine two nine five Delta. Two nine five Delta. Location. They got heavy smoke pushing on this side. Engine 295 still for what's over the I'm at my wrist. The bulk of the fire is on the other side. What's up? Command to the 5-3. All right, they got heavy fire going on in here, guys. Are we in exposure two of the original fire building on Main Street? <laughs> Let me go see if I can find a roof. A safe roof. There's heavy fire throughout. One six zero five. Make sure your knives are safe the right way. Ten four. Battalion four nine. The engine 
Oh, they got heavy volume of fire in there. Look at the black smoke pushing. I gotta see, let's see what the, um, yeah, two tower ladders in operation now. All right, I'm gonna see if I could get on something somewhere. Probably not gonna see a lot because it's all smoke right now, but we'll see. Before they had heavy flames pushing. All right, there's the fire. You can see fire here. Not a lot, but there's heavy fire back there. Let's see. Yeah, there's the fire back there. It looks like it's pushing to the left. Just very quickly, where the rack at? There the rack at, rack four. Fire's raising out of control back there. Uh, yeah, just to leave the store in the pocket, stop the button, and open up that line on the fire. All right, Starting to can't get seem to get a roof right. angle. They're putting a lot of water on it, so it's going to be uh, darkening down. You Give us water whenever you're ready. Take the light. Three, six, five, three, six, let's do okay. Just gonna film what I can right now. Looks like the fire is pushing this way anyway. Two nine seven shots. Nine seven shots. Oil is shut down for two and a half shots off the rig. We can move this upstairs, and then we're going to start it when we get back up there. Down four. Go from two five eight. Here comes the order. Four five eight. Down five over one two two bucket. Bucket. Four four two bucket.
Stretching multiple, multiple yeah. lines all over the place. Nine four nine for ladder one two five iron. <coughs> five iron. Location. Second floor, close to four. I'm with one two five sofa. All right, ten four. Thank you. Fifty four sofa, fifty four. Yeah, I don't think they shut it off. Stop, but the blitz boy stopped operating. It might have fell over. Alright uh, guys, this is the only roof that I found right now. The only one you're going to see anything of substance in terms of fire. It looks like they're hitting the pockets of fire with the uh, tower ladders. Smoke is lightening up, but they still have heavy volumes of fire. The fire is down there. Like I said early on, you're probably not going to see a lot of fire due to the heavy volume of smoke. What's the location? We've got the staging area with the 5-4. All right, so. I mean, downstairs you can see the operations and stuff like that. 95 Street, 295. How's that fire looking up there? But this is the uh, complete overview of it. There's, there's no other better angle at this point. All the other buildings are closed. Battalion 5 Who's that? 167 across from us over there? 
it's in the, uh, negative. We're good right now. In the line of smoke. We have two uh, headlines in operation and one power ladder over here. Uh, you not use the power ladder, right? You can't reach it. No, negative. Uh, we are using 142. They're attempting to put water on it. All right, 74. Command 2 to 5-3. You're yeah, John. Hi, Chris. Yeah, John, we got to keep a close look on exposure to uh, make sure nothing gets in there, right? Especially in the back. They're making headway. Right here is lightening up. And it's pushing that way. So they're pushing it with that tower ladder this way and that way to the middle there. This fire came in and escalated very, very quickly. They're bringing another power ladder in down there. That's going to be in front of the fire building on that side. Here come the engine, 312. 312, still coming. 312, got a great Okay, so the hot pocket that they're showing is right inside where you put that uh, good person. We're trying to get seats. On exposure three and operate towards exposure four. Comprehend that? Yeah, ten four chief. Actually, it's talking and down. So whatever you guys are doing, you're doing it right. So he's talking about there. Nine four nine for nine oh two. It escalated to a third alarm almost on arrival, then they transmitted the fourth alarm. And I think, nine, four, nine, so about a one, six, two. I think it's, one, six, two. it's still out of fourth alarm. Did you come to the command post? Not far. Too. Look at all the people. They had to shut down the subway station and have the uh, people go to the next station. Today is St. Patrick's Day, too. The fourth alarm box, 4465, stretch 40, day is 10 Main Street, south of Roosevelt Avenue. Acting Chief of Operations, Gladys reports, four tower ladders in operation, two hand lines in operation, one multiversal in operation, one blitz nozzle in operation. Primary searches in exposure three and four are negative. There's been no searches in the fire building. Fire conditions remain unchanged and the fire is staying at doubtful K. progress report. I see three hand lines in operation here. One, two, three. And then the three tower ladders. The fourth one's not set up, but it's going to go up shortly. There goes that same spot again. That's where the bulk of the fire is left right now. Uh, 
started on that side over there but I'm not sure where they were forcing entry before or in the setback in the back of this building I'm not sure smoke all the way down yonder. Look at the tower ladder getting in golf. but I guess not. Look at all the water they're putting in there. Oh, they set up another, the fourth towel out is over there. I didn't even see that one. There it goes, it was in the smoke. So that one, that one, that one, and that one.
still heavy fire conditions remain in there. Two floors are on fire. And it seems like he said that that's the original fire building. So it probably started in the back. Most of these businesses are all restaurants. There's the line to the roof, to the exposure. They're bringing it in right now, right there. Uh, let me see if they put it in operation yet. I can't tell, but they're very close to the edge where the fire is burning most of it right now. So they're gonna try to put water on it there. I'll monitor that. time with these smoky fires you very rarely see the flames of course you know that they're in there and uh, you just don't see it unless it pops up through the front that doesn't look like it's happening over here and it was trying to pop out of the front over there when I was down there but they were putting the tower ladder right into it so be extended operations for sure. It'll take a long time to get this out. They're stretching more lines down there. Now towards 
that little yellow gazebo over there, whatever. That's the uh, rooftop access, I guess. So they're moving the line right there. A lot of these other buildings, I believe, have firewalls. So. Command to battalion fireball. That's to prevent it from spreading further. But there's still the heavy volume of fire still there. Fireball command. Yeah, uh, will you be able to get a second tower ladder in position on 40th road? That's all. We got an 95 footer coming. Over there. Five right, little command, I'll go right back. Command, 10-4. Wildfire, that's what's ready to go to the station. 10-4, okay. where's the station area? Roosevelt and Tina, okay. Roosevelt and Tina, 10-4, thank you. A lot of dark smoke pushing here now. Down below. Okay, See a little glow in there, a little glow of orange visible through the smoke. Okay, there come additional units from that way. Most of the operations are going right now. In the back here and uh, in the front they got the two tower ladders on the side, the other two and the one back there. Fog mixed in with that. It's not all smoke. It's very foggy in New York.
right, I may go down shortly. Uh, see some of the operations, probably on that side. It's gonna be the only one, but it's all smoke. <clears throat> smoke is pushing right into the street. As you saw before. In the meantime, right here, smoke is lightening up, which is also a good sign. A lot of white smoke coming up now. Beige, whatever you want to call it. Uh, like I said, the smoke is pushing towards the front of the street. In front of that one store they were opening up. I'm not really sure, but I believe they had a fire here a couple of years ago in the same area. It could have been that store there. I believe it was, but it was so long ago. This store here burned before. Or somewhere there, because I remember the area. I came to it back then. They moved the line over there from where it was next to the AC units to over there. Field comes to Queen. You can have a squad 252 remain in service, okay? bulk of the operations is back here anyway, so... It looks like they're making headway. I think the last fire that I remember back, uh, back then was the fourth alarm. Actually, this area, I've seen multiple four alarm fires. I think one was a seven alarm fire down that way. Uh, back there, I don't remember. I've been to many multiple alarm fires in this neighborhood, many. At least four or five, this one included. 
All right, I'm at the half hour mark up here. I'm gonna continue to film a little bit longer and then maybe see to go down and, you know, get some of the operations down there. Uh, there's not a lot going on on this side. They have members in the doorway there. One of the chiefs is there, but I don't think they're committing anybody in there. And if it's not a fifth alarm, it should be shortly, at the very least for relief. They have so many extra trucks on it already that it basically adds up to a fifth alarm. A special call. There's two tower ladders, two trucks, and I think some a few more before that. I don't remember. Chunky black smoke and gray smoke still pushing down there, indicating heavy volume of fire. I believe there's a small building on fire, the entire building back there. Basically, this became a fourth alarm within 15 minutes. Command to Malcolm Moore. That's the rescue of our battalion, Malcolm Moore. Command to rescue operations. Special an additional 95 foot down. One regular ladder company and an additional ladder company to replace the best truck chain. The best truck did not go to work. We need to just uh, replace the manpower. Four. All right, he wants three or four more ladders. I didn't catch the whole report. And I missed what they were telling the rescue operations chief. You want another 95 footer.
take a five minute break. The other one's down here where you saw it early on. coming in shortly. Smoke continues to lighten up. But still heavy concentration of smoke right there. Thank you. 
coming from everywhere. That way, that way, that way, that way. Back over there. I'm gonna be going down shortly because uh, you've seen pretty much what's going on up here. The bulk of the operations is on these roofs and the, on the exposures. Uh, but still heavy smoke pushing in particularly that one area. So I'm gonna go down and do some of the operations down there and monitor it. Maybe there'll be another roof open back there somewhere. There's the drone going down. Oh, gone. Can you give instructions to uh, Colorado, Colorado 51? They are to enter Roosevelt Avenue from Prince Street, okay? Uh, enter from Roosevelt to Prince Street? Yeah, they need to be on Roosevelt, but they need to enter Roosevelt coming from Prince Street, okay? Alright, uh, 4. Please go out of Colorado 51. Colorado 51, on your frequency. 5-1, respond onto Roosevelt Avenue from Prince Street. Respond on Roosevelt Avenue from Prince Street. 51. 5-1, 10-4. Alright guys, I'm going down. See you downstairs. Alright guys, I came downstairs. They're starting to switch around. Uh, the ladders, they're gonna move this one out. I believe they're gonna bring in the 95 footer. They're rotating the members. Uh, I was all the way up there. So, as promised, I came down here to get a couple of the operations, a little bit of the operations that's going on down here. Look at the massive amount of firefighters and EMF. There's the drone operations. There's the rack out being utilized. All units, upon being relieved, make sure you go to work, get yourself all monitored for smoke and steel at the uh, recruitment camp. Command to the 937. 937. Bravo 
Ladder 4 eight is coming up to relieve ladder 125. Okay, gonna go look at the fire building in the front over there again. It's still burning pretty good in there. As you can see, smoke is a lot lighter, but... I'm gonna poke around. Multiversals and stuff in operation here. I thought it was going to pop out of here, but it, it might pop out of here. This is the area that I was showing you from the roof where the Heavy concentration of black and gray smoke is, and the main body of fire. And it looks like they have a building. There's fire there, you can barely see it. It's popping through through the ceiling. Negative, right now we're good. Command for battalion 5-1. 5 How are you making out over there? in there, it's in the roof. Pop out, but they're putting a lot of water on it from down here as well.
just came on the other side to give you guys all the other angles. This is where 142 is operating. Uh, over these buildings, spring water. So I want to give a, a little overview. All these are restaurants and businesses. Looks like they're trying to operate. Alright, they got uh, lines back here supplying the tower ladder. Engine down the corner. So I just wanted to show you guys. They got a surfboard on there. I'm sure there's a story behind that. You see the surfboard right there? everywhere all the buildings this is the one on that small setback that I showed you guys early on the firefighters all over the place I'm gonna go on the front over there a little bit longer it's starting to rain uh, it's supposed to rain heavy today. I don't know if I said it before, but if I didn't, I'll say it again. It's St. Patrick's Day today. We were going to go to the parade, but... Water in the lens. And that's what that looks like when that smoke starts pushing this way. I believe some of these units are from Manhattan on this side. Thirty-nine and thirteen. Fifty-three. Command to Battalion 5-3! Still roaring in there.
Five four to command. Battalion five four to command on command. Command go. Battalion five four to command. We have three two four supplying a blitz fire in a hallway here. We have a partial ceiling collapse, so it's hitting nothing. We're gonna shut this down. Command ten four. Five four to command. Also, can we get relief to three two four? Colorado's from the Bronx. about the water in the land.
looks like it's a grease fire. It's, it's all in the ceiling there. companies for release. Doing it. 
Paddy's name. All right, how are you? <laughs> I think they're trying to knock down that. I think they're trying to knock down the horning. They're gonna take the facade off there, all that wood and the signage and so forth and so on.
looks like it's all cement over there. Even though they were gonna remove the wood, probably wouldn't do too much, but let's see. As I was saying, it looks like a grease fire because it won't go out. And it's in the ceiling there. It's pushing black smoke again. Heavy black and gray smoke. So it's intensifying in there. Alright guys, just going to show you an overview. They look like they're starting to hit that spot. I don't really know for sure if it's grease, but everything is lightening up. Uh, it's very stubborn. Very stubborn in that one building the whole time.
They're starting to rotate some more companies and release some of the companies. So it looks like they're getting a good handle on it now. Considering the situation, they got tons of water going on, going into it. I'm going to poke around a little bit longer and then I'm going to be uh, taking up from here because it's very raw, it's raining. And so forth and so on. There's the command post, Division 14. FDMY EMS got their command post up as well. So I'm going to continue to monitor it for a little bit longer and then we'll be done here. Looks like something collapsed in there. <laughs> Guys, just to show you another little aspect of firefighting here, this is the FDMY fuel truck. They're fueling one of the rigs right now. for several hours now we're gonna close this up stuff is lightening up over there a lot of the companies are being released and so we're gonna be taking up from here too there's Chief Myers Chief Moore down in the distance All the chiefs are here. Acting uh, fire chief is here. Chief of the department, Hodgins. Chief Esposito is here. Everybody's here. <laughs> With that said, we're gonna be taking up
they continue to operate this stubborn fire very stubborn fire they're starting to break down some of the lines Take a peek at the drone. It looks like they're doing something over there with the drone. They might be taking it up. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're taking it up. They're, they're taking everything up. Drone operations have concluded. <laughs> Packing it up, they're ready to go. And we're gonna take up too. Still smoke pushing from both sides, a lot of operations going on. With that said, two and two, we're gonna see you all on the other side. my way out again here so um just wanted to show you guys that the uh, water coming from the fire is causing a problem downstairs in the subway system they had to bring out these white plastic sheets to uh cover the grates they got grates there like that all the way down there the water's going in there into the subway and the Long Island Railroad and all the other stuff so they're taking care of that. All right. We're gonna be taking up from here. Still smoke pushing from that establishment there. We're gonna need an additional 95 foot towel ladder. And their instructions are gonna be, come from Northern Boulevard 
onto Main Street and pull up right in front of the fire building. Alright, tap four, Phil Tom. Phil Tom. Phil Tom, do you have 92 engine operating still? Step back. 92 engine, you're asking about, correct? They're tap four. Yeah, they're here on operating. Alright, tap. Car 9, Assistant Chief Shaft reports. Cut out gas advised they shut gas off to the fire building a year ago. They're also in the process of shutting down gas to the exposures. Cut out electric is shutting down power to the fire building and the exposures. Still, two tower ladders in operation. The fire is under control. We're going to need the Department of Buildings to respond for the uh, structural stability of the fire building, exposures 2, 3, and 4. And Division 1 4 will be the uh, incident commander from this time out. Alright, tough way under control time is 1129, duration is 5 hours and 24 minutes. 10 4. 